Hallelujah. I worship you, God. I pray breakthrough. I pray miracles over everyone's life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Good morning. And welcome to Women of War Mornings with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. I do not own the rights to this music. Amen. Well, welcome to Women of War. Forgive me for being a few minutes late. I set a, a new alarm um, yesterday for the many things that I have to do <laughs> so that I can do them on time. And uh, I guess, uh, I guess the alarm doesn't Actually, it works, but it doesn't, um, I can't hear it if my phone is set to vibrate. So, <laughs> anyway, um, praise the Lord, I'm here. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me on Mornings with God. Um, scripture I got today is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 yesterday we were in second corinthians as well if you recall so let me read it verse 17 of second corinthians chapter 5 says therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things are become new. So if any man be in Christ, what does that mean? That means you have to be born again. The word tells us you must be born again in order to see the kingdom of God. In order to be a new creature, you have to be born again. You have to accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. And then and only then will you be a new creature. Amen. All the old things are passed away so all of the things of your past when you become a new creature everything is new that means anything of the old anything of your past you know all your sins all your mistakes all of your trials and tribulations that you may have botched up any regrets all of those things that are that are in you upon you that you hold fast to in your mind and your heart all the hurts all the pain when you accept jesus as your lord and savior the bible tells us here that all that old things are passed away old things are passed away they're done they're gone and it says behold all things are become new so everything from the moment you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Everything is new. 
It's like Jesus wipes the slate clean. It's not like it, he does. He wipes the slate clean. It's a fresh canvas. It's a, you know, one of, when I was a kid, which was a very long time ago, <laughs> they had these um, little, it was like a cardboard, and there was this red, it was red, and it was this red little plastic pen thing that you could write on the cardboard and then you pull the paper up like that to erase it and you draw and write some more and pull the paper up and then there was another red thing that had these two little no white knobs on the bottom it was a little square plastic thing um I can't remember what it was called and you would use those white things to make lines on it and draw and whatever and then you'd shake it and it would erase well that's kind of what happened that's kind of what happened what it's saying happens here so if we are in Christ, <clears throat> all the old things that were on that canvas or on that board or in your life, it got shaken up by Christ when we became born again. And all things have become new because now it's clean. It's a clean slate. And God never reminds us of our past. He doesn't remind us of the sins that we committed, that we repented of when we got saved. He does not remind us of anything like that. The enemy does. So this morning, I just want to encourage you and say that if you are in Christ, you are a new creature. So back, go ahead and act like one. Write your story. Let the Holy Spirit rewrite your life, rewrite your story, because he wants to do it great and big and beautiful and prosperous and amazing and awesome and every word that you can think that's good. The Holy Spirit wants to rewrite your story. God wants you to have a good life. Amen. A prosperous life. Amen. A uh, a life that's filled with joy, not sorrow. He wants to give you restoration for your life, for your family, for your friends, for your body. Amen. So remember today as you go about your day, allow the Holy Spirit to help you rewrite the story that God has for you. And always remember, all things are new. And every single day when you open your eyes, God's mercies are new every morning. It's a brand new day. Amen. So live out 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Amen. Well, thank you all for joining. Thank you, baby, um, for jumping on during your break. <laughs> I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow morning right here again for Mornings with God at 7 a.m. Blessings.